So in this video, we're going to um, create a Cloudflare D container. First step um, is going to be creating a folder that we are going to mount into the uh, container. This uh, folder is called demo. Um, it is very important to adjust the permissions of the folder, otherwise the Cloudflare uh, diamond won't work. Um, so we ch own this uh, folder we just created with uh, this user ID and group ID. Uh, so again, this is extremely important, otherwise the container won't start. So now that we have uh, the folder created, we check that the permissions are correct. We can uh, we can go and uh, grab the uh, the container uh, image. So we go to uh, the Docker Hub page of Cloudflare, and uh, we look for the latest version of the container. It doesn't have to be this one that I am using. Uh, right now, as we are recording the video, you just have to grab the last uh, available release whenever you're watching this video. So we start the container, uh, we map the folder we just created with the permissions adjusted to this folder inside of the uh, container. So it is slash home slash non root slash dot cloudflare d and then the name of the the name of the image we just grab the uh, um, the version tag I copy and then paste it here and then we use this command tunnel login which is gonna show us this url here this is essentially uh, a way for us to authenticate ourselves at Cloudflare. We just open, uh, we are going to be prompt, uh, username and password, and we log in. And uh, now that we have uh, our session open, we probably need to uh, click again on this link. Now that our session is open, we're going to be presented with this authorization in which we are allowing Cloudflare to create a certificate which is going to be downloaded to our uh, local machine. We click Authorize and then the certificate has been downloaded. So we go back and, uh, and uh, this is the name of the certificate. Uh, cert.pem which is going to be inside the folder we created at the beginning of the video. Here is the file. So uh, now that we have the certificate we can uh, start creating uh, the tunnel. So It is essentially um, gonna, gonna be a question of executing these uh, following commands using the same binary, which is gonna be the container we used before. So now the command we use is uh, tunnel create, and then we just use uh, whatever name we want to give to the tunnel. In this case, test tunnel is, a, is the name I choose. So uh, now that the tunnel has been created, we will see that there is this, um, this new file created in the same folder. This file, uh, this JSON file, is, um, is essentially the uh, unique identifier of this tunnel uh, we created called test tunnel. And this long string of uh, little letters and numbers is just the uh, unique identifier of the of the tunnel. 
So uh, now that we have the tunnel ready, uh, the next thing we need to do is uh, create a, a config file, which is going to define the path or the ingress rules that uh, this tunnel is going to be implementing. For that, we go into Cloudflare. We just take this example as a template, and uh, we are going to adjust that, uh, the content so that we can uh, connect our local environment to uh, uh, to the Cloudflare Edge. So I create this file called config.jml uh, within the same folder. I uh, nano into it as um, uh, nano config.jml. I just paste the content of this uh, uh, template. into this uh, file. I'm going to be changing the, uh, the uh, values here so that uh, they match our own values. So the name of the, the, name of the folder, as I uh, told you before, is, is, is this one here. So we're going to uh, change the name uh, here. And uh, we just paste this uh, this value. This is uh, the unique identifier of our uh, tunnel. The credentials are going to be found on the on the same folder. The name of the file, the JSON file, is exactly the same as the as the name of the folder of the tunnel. And, uh, and we need to adjust also the path uh, so that we make sure the container is going to find the credentials file when it uh, is executed. So this template is, uh, is uh, presenting you with the default path of, um, of Cloudflare D running um, as a local binary as we are using a container, we need to just make this slide, this slight uh, adjustment so that we use slash home slash non root slash dot cluffer d slash name of the file containing the credentials. So we are going now to um, to log in again into Cloudflare and uh, just to show you that. Uh, under this zone that we created, um, we uh, we have to create a new host. This host name is going to be the host that we are going to be targeting when we try to access our uh, local environment from the internet. So in my case, I'm going to call it my host dot micasita dot ga, and then we we will change these values. Um, uh, after we just remove the uh, second service, we will be adding uh, new services on different on different video. But for now, we we will just create one one access. So we edit the uh, config file, and we just make sure that it is containing the names. So these are the ingress rules that um, that we have created. Just one rule. We will be adding uh, uh, different rules um, after uh, using the the graphic uh, interface of Cloudflare. But for now, we will keep using the uh, command line uh, because I want you to uh, learn to use some of the commands that are um, that are useful uh, when you are setting up your tunnels. Um, so we just make sure that uh, within the list of tunnels that we have available, we just have um, we just have the one that we just created um, that we call uh, that we call a test tunnel. So 
we just repeat the same command, docker run, uh, we bind the demo uh, folder into the uh, slash home slash non root dot cloudflareD uh, folder and we just execute tunnel list command so that we uh, make sure that there is just one tunnel um, created. Um, now um, let me show you that there is no DNS entry created at Cloudflare pointing to our um, pointing to our host, and we're going to use this command tunnel root DNS. Now we um, uh, point to the name of the tunnel, which is in our case uh, test tunnel, as shown here. And this tunnel is going to point to my host, which is the name we decided to give um, to our uh, uh, to the service that we want to expose. Uh, so it's uh, my host dot uh, dot ga. So with this command, we just have created uh, a CNAME entry into uh, the Cloudflare DNS uh, using the command line. Uh, let me refresh this page so that you can see that we have added this new entry. I hear this into uh, into Cloudflare. So essentially what this is saying is that anytime we're calling myhost.micasita.ga, the traffic is going to be proxied to the tunnel, through the tunnel to my, uh, to my home lab. And um, let me just try to uh, start the tunnel now just to make sure that um, everything works correctly for that we just have to repeat the same uh, command tunnel plus run and then the name of the tunnel which is the tunnel hit enter and there you go the tunnel uh, has started and uh, and uh, everything should be uh, working now we hit Control C, and uh, we are ready to start local services uh, to be exposed uh, to the internet. But that will be uh, on the next video.